what's going on guys in this video we're going to take a look at a family of comets that's headed towards the orbit of earth later on this year three comets the mac holtz family that's what you're looking at right here this is a screen grab of a solar system app that was emailed to me and they were wondering what the bright object was going very close or at least appears to be going close to planet earth in this solar app and that would be on december the 6th of 2020 when we get to looking at this a little closer there's actually two more coming in with this comet in november and december they may be visible by the end of the year also have you guys noticed that the sun seems a little farther north for april it does to me we'll get to that here in just a moment but back to the the family of comets that's headed inward here in a few months may be visible in the in the night sky if you know where to look basically what happened was the mac holtz family is much like what we're seeing here with the comet atlas which is now a family it was one comet that fragmented and broke into multiple pieces well, they maintain their same orbit, much like Atlas will. Some, depending on their density, will move slower than others, but they'll still keep the same general orbit. You can see right now, this is an image of Atlas, or at least what's left of it, from the Hubble Space Telescope. And you can see four very bright points of light, and these will probably change in their position over time some be back here maybe some farther ahead and they'll probably become like the mac holtz family comet atlas maybe a comet atlas b that's what we've got going on here with regard to mac holtz i'm going to come back to that here in a minute but we did a video a couple days ago about the possibility of an asteroid maybe coming in um, there's nothing coming directly at the Earth, but there was a new addition to the near-Earth asteroid list that's grown exponentially over the years. 2020 HP6, April 27th of 2020, 0.03 LD. That is less than half of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So that's going between the Earth and the Moon, and it's about 30 feet wide. So maybe about as long as a bus. Here it is on the JPL. We're going to zoom in and take a closer look. And you can see right there it is. It's going over the Earth as I do this video. It won't be grabbed by the Earth's gravity. It's got to get a lot closer than that. But I will say, by space standards, that close is extremely close. It's less than 70,000 miles. Zooming along at 12.2 kilometers per second, so it's moving along at a pretty good clip. Uh, I've seen them move faster, and I've seen them move slower. But, but anyway, that's a new one that they've just found within the last 24 hours. Now over to the Mac Holtz family of comets. And there you see it on a solar app right there. It looks to be zipping right by the Earth, but it's not literally that close. Here we're going to go over and look at Mac Holtz 2. That's 141P Mac Holtz 2. Again, this is a family of comets, and here it is coming in. This is through like July, August, September, October, November. And this one is Mac Holtz 2, December 21st. It's going to be right even with the Earth crossing the Earth's orbit. Not anywhere near Earth as far as, you know, impact or anything like that, but could be visible. I have to wait and see. That's Mac Holtz 2 on December the 21st. This is Mac Holtz 2A. That's 141P. And you can see on November the 30th of 2020, right there is where it's going to be in front of the Earth crossing the Earth's orbit. But back in here we'll back it up a little bit and you can see more than likely that too has a chance to be visible sometime in november then we've got mac holtz 2d that's 141p same family crossing the earth's orbit right there all three of these are coming right towards the earth's orbit and this one's on november 23rd of 2020 back it up a couple of clicks i've got this set on a week at a time and you can see right there, it may be visible the first week of November into the second week of November. And then by late November into December, it's going to cross the Earth's orbit. So a family of comets moving in by November and December. Very fascinating times we're living in. And, and some of these could be visible. They're not a problem as far as impacting the Earth. They're, in fact, I think they're on five or six year orbital patterns. 
Um, so, again, no problem for the Earth, but they may be visible. Interesting times. We'll have to check it out, and we may be able to get some photos of our own. Back to the sun possibly being too far north. This is a photo I received from Jason from La Mesa, California. And, in fact, here's the email that he shared with me as well. He said, this is taken from my bedroom window this morning. And that would be on April the 26th. My bedroom window faces due north exactly. I live in North La Mesa, California, USA. Explain this away. It's only April 26th, 2020. This usually, and he's talking about the sun coming in that window, this usually doesn't happen for another 35 days on or around May 31st. I've calculated the rate of progression, and that's the sun's movement towards the north, at 1.23 degrees per day. And he's calculating that it's that much too far to the north because this normally is not in the, the window frame until the end of May. So it's about 35 days early, according to Jason. He never sees the sun or at least direct sunlight like that, especially in April, not until the end of May. So windows that face north and south are good indicators of the position of the sun. And he seems very confident if it's in a window too early, then, you know, that's a pretty good landmark because windows on houses don't move and shift a whole lot. A bedroom window, especially a window frame, looking a certain direction, it's not going to change. So he would be very familiar with the sun entering his bedroom window at certain times of the year because you would be inclined to open and close the blinds at certain times of the year. He usually doesn't have to use the blinds in April, but there's the sun, and that's the photo he shared with me. And I have to admit, I've noticed from our backyard, I noticed the sun seemed to, to go north rather quickly this year. I can normally see it due east several mornings, you know, in a row, sunrise, without anything blocking the view. This year, it's already north above my neighbor's houses, so I don't see the sun until it comes up over their roof line. So just a, an interesting observation, and I thought maybe some of you may have noticed that as well. So once again, family of comets heading inbound look for a rendezvous in november and december of this year if you guys are new viewers make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel click on this little bell here that way you'll be notified each time i upload a new video if you guys are current subscribers double check make sure you're still subscribed and make sure the bell is still turned on thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there